Hey guys, it's Woody the Unexceptional Gamer, and I'm bringing you a review of Portal 2. So uh, just a little background on, on my Portal experience. I have um, I played the first version of Portal, I don't, I don't know how many times, I'm kind of a big Portal fan, but I'll call it six or eight times all the way through. And um, on Portal 2, the game I'm reviewing for you now, uh, I've played the entire single player campaign from, from beginning to end, and I've played the entire co-op campaign from beginning to end. So, um, so there, there isn't really much in this game that I haven't played yet, and I can do a pretty thorough review for you guys. But I will, uh, I will not have any, any um, spoilers in it. So what Portal is, <clears throat> is you, you have a, a gun, right? But it doesn't shoot bullets, it shoots these uh, portals on the wall. And when you walk through one, you walk out of the other. That basic game mechanic is the solution to many, many, many puzzles uh, throughout this thing. And sometimes you're, you're putting yourself through these things. Sometimes you're flying through with momentum as a way to get across the room or a mat. Sometimes you're, you're dropping objects uh, through one end of the portal and they pop out the other. And it's kind of a puzzle game. But unlike some puzzle games, it requires some skill on the stick. I mean, in midair, you have to shoot these portals and have them land at your feet and this and that. Whereas uh, some of the other puzzle games that I see you have all the time in the world to figure out what you want. There's a lot of mid-flight things that happen in Portal. So uh, so it's a puzzle game, but uh, uh, subscribers of mine, uh, their their skill in the stick will be exercised, right? Subscribers of mine typically have, you know, a Call of Duty background. So um, so because of that, you know, you're, you're pretty good at working the controller, and that will be required as you play Portal 2. Uh, if you're used to Portal 1, one of the things that made it so great, in addition to the um, uh, the... the like game itself was the voice acting and the voice acting in portal 2 may be even better the the same actress came back and did glados they added two more characters in the game and uh, and both of them are, are equally good if not maybe even better than glados was in portal 1 um, in terms of gameplay mechanics they added a couple new things they added this repulsion gel this sticky gel this another kind of gel that lets you put a portal anywhere you want to and um uh, so, so they the puzzles are a little more complicated. Um, how long is this game? Uh, it's been advertised as 10 to 12 hours. Um, I beat the game, I want to say the single player in about nine and a half hours, and the multiplayer in about five or five and a half hours uh, all put together. But again, I'm in this unique situation where I did it while I live streamed, and I had you know literally between two and 3,000 people helping me looking for little areas where I, I could put the portals. I'm going to guess that if I didn't have the live stream helping me and providing some guidance, then maybe I would have beat the single player in like 12 to 13 hours and, um, and the co-op in six or something like that. So, uh, so yeah, I definitely had some help from, you know, from guys like you, uh, making my, my way through this campaign, uh, one of the chief ways that I rate a game, like a, some guys do a scale of 1 to 10. Um, you know, <laughs> Wings of Redemption has its own crude scale. It's kind of funny. But uh, I like to, to rate games like if you only buy this many games a year, then would it be included, right? Like you know, if you bought six games a year, then probably Medal of Honor would be a good choice. If you were to only buy one game a year, then that probably wouldn't be the one I'd pick. And uh, with Portal, like where does that fall in? I would say... If I bought three games a year, this would definitely be a lock that I would get this game. If I only bought two games over the course of an entire year, then Portal 2 still might make the cut. Like It's, it's really a high-end game for me. I, I love this game. I, I enjoy it a lot. I can't wait to play it some more. I'll probably be doing it. You guys will see this game uh, a bunch. Um, if I were to only buy one game a year, well, you guys know, I, I'd probably be buying uh, whatever Call of Duty came out that year if I only had one game. And one thing I'll, I'll caution you, they, I, does it have replayability? It has replayability like a really good single player game does. A little 360 Grizz action there. Um, it, you know, it, I, I'm going to play it again. I, I think I might do a Let's Play for you guys. I'd like to get your feedback on it. But it's not like, um, you know, the multiplayer games where you compete against each other, which are infinitely replayable. I mean, you can play... Uh, a lot of these first-person shooters, not just Call of Duty, but Gears of War, Black, Gears of War, um, Medal of Honor, etc., etc., forever and ever and ever. Whereas this, it's kind of the same puzzles uh, again and again and again. Now, I like it. I like the voice acting. I like the stories. I'm going to go back and see if there are any corners of this game that I haven't seen before. But um, uh, it doesn't have the endless replayability, which makes me think, you know, maybe it's a top three game of the year instead of a top two game of the year. Because uh, because of that, you know, if you just had to play one game all the time, then then whatever. 
Uh, in a second here, you're going to see an example of the portal gun. And uh, see that portal in the top screen there? That would be one thing that you can walk through. And uh, I'll put a hole right here. And as I walk through one, I pop out the other. Do you, do you see how that worked? And uh, and that basic game mechanic is, is what you do. You know, you walk in one area, you walk out the other, you drop an object in one, and you, you, you pop out the other. So um, so do I like this game? Yes, absolutely. I, I can give you an, an unqualified, uh, you know, top-notch review on this thing. I really liked it, and I, I've played enough of this to, to, to give, I think, a pretty informed opinion that, uh, you know, that the entire single player and the entire campaign. So um, so that's my review. It's not a first impressions. It's a complete thing. And and I really like this game. I'm a Portal fan. And, and there you have it. little 360 Grizz uh, stare drop. But um, uh, that, I think I'm going to do a Let's Play. I have this notion that... Um, that you guys have seen enough Call of Duty and you might be interested in a Portal Let's Play. It's a lot to commit to. Like I said, you know, if I, on a second playthrough like this, it might take me eight hours, which is uh, a lot of videos. But um, uh, give me some feedback. Let me know if you'd like to see a Portal Let's Play. I'm hoping you say yes, because I'd like to play this game again. And um, one thing that might be different about my Let's Play compared to some of the others is it'll be my second time through the game and I won't be... Um, you know, spending a ton of time. Like you see, I caught that in the air, dropped it in the box. Um, so mine might be a nice reference for like a how to make it through something as opposed to someone else where you're exploring it with him or her for the first time. So a little bit different. Uh, let me know if you're interested in a Let's Play like that because um, I, I think I'd be interested in making one and uh, and that'll be pretty cool. So uh, of course, there'll still be Black Ops on my channel. That's, uh, that, that's the core of what my sub base wants to see. But uh, uh, so that's it. This game, fantastic. I think you should buy it. Oh, oh one last thing. Uh, the platform, people have asked. Uh, this game is available for more platforms than any others that I know. It, it, and specifically, it's available for the Xbox. It's available for the PS3. It's available for the PC. And it's available for the Mac. And um, uh, I don't, I don't, it might even be available for more. I'm not even positive, but I know it's available for all those. So you're pretty well covered if you have a PC, Mac, or either console. So, uh, so there it is. I hope you enjoyed the review, and uh, maybe there's a let's play coming our way.